어, 네. 일로 와봐. 고네. 원래 이게 쩔쩔. 크랩 고네. 머리 박으니까 이거. 아이 머리가 작다 너는. So cute. 상이 좀 작네. 쪼. 이리 와봐. 응. 쩔쩔은 해도 안 맞다 안고 있을 거야. 쩔쩔. It's your turn. 사진 찍기 한번 해봐. 쪼 고개들아. 맨날 메롱하고 있어. 아 핸드폰으로 나는 찍어야 돼. 응. 있어 핸드폰? 핸드폰? 쪼쪼 가만 있네? 쪼쪼 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 일로 와봐 쪼쪼 일로 와봐 쪼쪼 고개 들어봐 쪼쪼 고개 들어주세요 아 귀여워 오케이 okay, so I'm still at the in-laws I'm just gonna quick glee film uh, get ready with me uh, plus dun -dun -dun -dun. All the stuff that I got from Aritang yesterday, I just wanted to uh, share it with you guys. So first, I'm gonna do my toner, and I did buy some cotton pads from Aritang. So I got these. These are um, facial cotton pads, Aritang. These were really cheap. These were like one dollar. So yeah, they're pretty okay. And I am using. I am from Mugworth Essence as my very first step. As my toner, lightly go over my skin. I actually um, drank a lot last night with my... Uh, can I say mother-in-law if I'm not really married yet? I'm not sure, but anyways. So with my boyfriend's parents yesterday, we went to go eat uh, nakji and yukhe. It was so good. It was like raw beef and a little bit of raw octopus uh, with sesame oil and just like sesame seed. It was just like so good. And we drank this uh, drink that tasted kind of like like Korean traditional kind of cocktail. A little bit of like a fruity flavor to it, but it was really good and it was really sweet. And it was so nice. I really loved uh, getting to know Derek's parents and I already met his mom, but I it was the first time that I talked to his dad, which was really nice. Now I'm just using my hands to use one more layer of, of the mugworth. I love this so much. I'm so sad that it's running out. I only have just a tiny bit. For those of you who have never tried this, I highly want to recommend it. It's really hydrating and it's really mild. And then I'm gonna move on to my serum. These days I am using Biowish Trend Polyphenol um, Propolis 15% ampoule. I really like this ampoule. It might sound a little bit like it's gonna be really rich, but it doesn't feel that rich at all when you first see it it looks really rich like the way it's dripping it does look thick but as soon as you put it on it gets to this watery kind of less viscous texture to it okay and then i'm gonna try Ooh. so i got this this is the laneige cream skin refiner and I've been wanting to try this so bad um I promised myself for 2019 that I wasn't gonna buy like skincare products because uh, I've been buying so many skincare products there's so much already that I need to still try at home but I really wanted to try this because I've been hearing so many good things about this and this was on promotion so for me I got it for $17 and the bottle's pretty big so it was like one plus one and they always give you kind of free stuff if you do buy a lot oh, I already know. so it was really nice of them they actually gave me this little thing like day and night kit from Aritown and Laneige I think this is just like some cotton pads and also um and also a bottle that I could put this in and use as a mist they also gave me these sheet masks from Mamongdu. I haven't tried a lot of products from Mamongdu, so I'm really excited about these two. 
she also gave me a small size so I can just carry it with me when I travel and stuff. So this is the very first time that I'm trying this. It says skin a cream 한 통을 그대로 녹여대요. 첫 단계부터 채워주는 보습 skin. So it says that they put one whole bottle of cream in this uh, toner, and it says that you're gonna have the moisturization power or powerful hydration effect as putting on cream with just your toner and it says skin type recommended for dry skin and main features is white leaf tea water so this is the very first time i'm trying this i should have tried it as the very first step oh but there's no scent to it i can't smell anything i'll try it on my hands first i'm gonna try just a few dabs i really like it because the way it comes out, it's very, very thin. So I don't think I'm ever gonna like spill or get too much of it. There's no scent. There's absolutely no, oh. It's very mild, but there's a little bit of some type of sweetness. I can smell that. Mmm. Ah, this is a very interesting texture. It's very watery but you do feel a little bit of the oil, like kind of oily feeling of it. Not in a bad way, but there's definitely some oil. I already have the toner and ample on, so it looks oilier, but it does feel a little bit oily, but not like in a bad way. I could definitely understand what they meant by there's a whole cream in this whole bottle of toner. Hmm? Yes? Come in. Come in. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna move on to my cream step. I'm using Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I love this cream so much. So even when I'm traveling, I constantly always carry this around because it's just so right for my skin. Anyway, so we're gonna move on to my base makeup. Oh no, sunscreen first. Ooh. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Okay, so I brought two of my favorites. Especially when I'm traveling, I try to take these two around. Um, this is Claire's Soft UV Airy Essence. Like the name itself, it's very, very, very essence-like. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit here, a little bit here. It doesn't have any white cast. It goes onto your skin really smoothly. And there's like no oiliness or no iffiness afterwards, so it doesn't feel heavy or nor sticky. So it's just perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my base makeup now. So I bought a little bit of the makeup because I did not have any makeup. And the cushion that I tried for the first time <sighs> did not fit me. So this is what I've tried. This is the Oxygen Suticles O2 cushion. For me, I it was too bright for me, as you guys can see it in the vlog. And for me, it just it looked so flaky and cakey and it just did not soak into my skin. So it was a bad choice for me. So I had to go and get something new and um, I wanted to look good because it was the very first time that I was meeting Derek's dad, you know? And I didn't want to look like not at my best. I wanted to try to look at my best. So um, I tried this one, the full cover uh, BB cream. This is uh, SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus, whitening, anti-aging, and I got it in the darkest color, which was O2 Natural Beige. This, like the name itself, covers really well and it was really thick. So I did try to mix it a little bit with my cream and that kind of made it more uh, less dense. Uh, which I like because I have dry skin. So if something is like too thick for me, it doesn't work well on me. So today I'm gonna mix it again with uh, my blue cream. Just gonna mix just maybe a little bit more. Maybe about that much. And this was really cheap. This was about like $12, but online it's like $9. So yeah, it's pretty big. So if you're looking for a new BB cream, you can definitely check this out. And I'm gonna mix it just a little bit with my blue cream. Maybe just like one to one ratio. And it just becomes a little bit more watery because it was so thick. I'm just gonna put it on my skin. This is actually my boyfriend's sister's room. She recently got married, so she's like, you know, living separately. But um, 
to my surprise, I always imagined the in-laws or, you know, the experience to be really uncomfortable or really, you know, difficult. But I don't know, yesterday, I don't know if it was the alcohol or whatever, but it was just like, I was so happy, you know? I was so happy to see the parents of the person that I loved and um, for them to be so happy to be with me and to have dinner with me they looked so like happy and I could really genuinely feel that they really liked me so it was that was very very relieving because I don't know why I have this um, how should I say I had this um, fear that the in-laws or like my boyfriend's mom wouldn't like me I don't know why but it's just you know you wanna be loved by the person you love the most and their parents you know so I think I did have this some type of fear but it was it was my uh, boyfriend's mom's birthday so that's why we spontaneously kind of came and had a really nice dinner and after we came home we had cake and we drink a little bit more. It was just so fun. Okay guys, so I think this is much better, isn't it? The light, there is a little bit of shade here. But while I was charging, I just changed into my outfit. Today, um, I'm wearing this DKNY sweater that my boyfriend got me a long time ago at an outlet. And I have these on. This is from Anna Luisa. And yeah, I love these two pieces. I've been layering it every single day. So I'm gonna just quickly do, finish off with my makeup. Uh, my lips look really chapped. I've been loving this so much. This is actually Botanic Farm. And Melting Heart Two-Tone Tint Lip Balm. So this has two tones like this. So it does have some type of uh, chapstick kind of feel to it, the lighter color, and then they have uh, the tint in there. So even if without a mirror, what I do, and even if my lips look really crusty and chapped, I just go doo -doo -doo, like this, doo -doo -doo, like that. So easy. And then yesterday I bought mascara. Um, this was the Long Last Mascara Black. This was actually the cheapest one. I just said, can I just get the cheapest one? Because I already have the makeup at home. I just didn't have it here, like, you know, in Daejeon. So I was just gonna, you know, use it just for this time. This was about like six bucks or seven. So this was really cheap. And then I got a fixer. I've been wanting a fixer for a long time. And this is called the Idol Fixer from Arik Diamond. This was also really cheap. And then I got eyebrow pencil and I really like this eyebrow pencil. I actually had one and I used it all up and I loved it so much. This is a matte formula from Arik Down and this is a gray brown color. It really matches my color no matter what kind of hair I have. I tried this when I had lighter color brown and it still looked good to the eyeliner. And I also got this yesterday too and I am kind of disappointed because uh, this was like $12. It was more expensive than the Tony Moly one that I usually use. I love the Tony Moly one. It's like the best. It's very affordable. It works wonderfully. I love the color. It's brown but it's not even that uh, light or it's not even that thick. Ne? Okay. Almost done. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up now. We're gonna, we have to go. But to my very surprise, the brush itself wasn't like as thin as the Tony Moly one. It's so stiff and it's so like, it doesn't get on the brush. No, I don't explain it, but the Tony Moly one, even if you do just a little bit, it's just like, it's so creamy and soft. But this one, it's like so stiff, it's hard to do, it's so dry. It's so not easy to work with, you know? It's so hard to work with. I'm just gonna... Draw in the waterline. Just like that, really natural. Ah, it's so hard to draw it in. Everything's so, they just make everything so difficult. Kind of disappointed in the eyeliner. Uh, Hi. Hey, handsome. Thank you. You look like Stephen Jobs. Oh my god. I got this too. 
I just don't have any eye makeup, so eyelash curler. This is this was pretty okay. I was like for everything, I was like the cheapest one, please. I'm only gonna use it once. But I'm really glad I got the BB cream. I'm really glad I got the cream refiner, the toner. I just I don't like the liner. That was a miss, but I'm using the Adi Down Long Lash Mascara. It's just really cheap too. It's like six bucks. This one was okay. Okay guys, so I am done with my quick makeup that I winged it. <laughs> just wanted to film this because I wanted to show you guys what I got from Adi Down. And y'all need to come with me today to have a really fun day.